I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And welcome back to our channel. For today's adventure, Mom's actually going to be making some delicious mm. grape jelly for us. It's so delicious. It is. In fact, what makes it so good is that we use our wine grapes in our vineyard in the backyard. See, I thought that'd be a waste. <laughs> <laughs> My vote was to make wine with it, but surprisingly, it's actually well worth it. <laughs> so let's go help her and let's pick some grapes. All right, let's get right, picking. So we just found these beautiful grapes right here that we'll pick. This nice cluster, this bush is just loaded with these beautiful grapes that you can see here. So we'll pick some of these. Did you say that we also have some light ones too this year, Dad, or just the dark? No, we do. We have some beautiful lighter grapes. Okay. We have quite a few bushes back here. Back here with all the different fruit trees. But they're just so beautiful. Such a nice day for picking too. I know, it just rained. We finally got some rain after not having any all summer. I'll have to take a picture and show them that when we get rain down here up on Etna, they actually got snow. We, ha we have snow now, yeah. I know. <laughs> Go figure. All right, so that was just from that one plant. You can see all the grapes we got. There's still more on there. Actually, I could pick this one if I want. Maybe we should save some and try making wine. I don't think so. All right. all right, so we just found some of the light grapes here. Look how beautiful those are. Nice green grapes. All right. Like having a mixture. So yummy. And if um, mom doesn't use them in her jelly, we can just eat them. Yeah, they're so good. So delicious. Let's see. I like this cluster down here. I like to be hidden. How many do you think we should take? Uh, take what you want. Oh, I, I know that. mom needs a good... Um, Good bucket full of grapes yeah. for her jelly. This one looks Be careful not to cut yourself. I've already done it. I know. Aren't they pretty? They are so good. Marcello's having a blast in the background. <laughs> and Angelina. <laughs> well, we like to bring them back here with us because they also help with the snakes. These are just so beautiful. I don't know if you can see how packed this bush is. It's just amazing. But these grapes are a little bit different than the other ones we were just picking. They almost look like a champagne grape. They're really small, little grapes. But they're so good. They they're so just sweet. Pop in your mouth. Yeah. So this plant is just packed all underneath. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Of course, as you can see, it just rained, so we're a little wet. But look at all those beautiful grapes. Oh, yum! And this back here, um, the owner of this land does not cultivate the grapevines. I can only imagine what they would produce if they were cultivated and taken mm, care of. Let's try another one. How's it taste, Victoria? Mm, so good. Wait, how was that again? Mm. <laughs> okay, look at those. Oh, so beautiful. And all organic, too. All organic. What's really sad is that if we don't pick them, they just rot, go to waste. We should really stake these up. One year I went back here and I started pruning, and that year they didn't produce anything. Really? <laughs> so, I, I, I don't know if they just like being left alone. Your amazing gardening <laughs> skills. No, I'm good at gardening, I'm but... I'm kidding. I guess not tending vines. Oh. Uh... Well, maybe they don't produce well the first year you prune them. Maybe. Let's get some green ones. Let's see, where is the top? There they are. Beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. All right, I think we have enough, Dad. What do you think? I think so. All right, now let's... Give them to mom so she can start making some jam. Look at this beautiful bunch that dad just found. We almost completely missed this. It's stunning. All right, we just had to show you just how many grapes we picked and there's still so much more, but look at this. Look how beautiful they are. That's oh, quite a bit actually. Quite a bit, yeah. Giant strainer full of grapes. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's go give these to mom so we can get enjoying some jam. Okay, oh, yeah. so here I have half of the grapes that I picked this morning. I've already washed them and took them off of the stems. And now I'm just going to top them off with some water and then bring it to a boil. 
Mostly it's their own juices. I just added a little bit of water so that they'll be covered. I still have the rest of the grapes in my second batch. So once these come to a boil, I'll let them boil for about 10 minutes and then take them off the heat and strain them. Okay, so here we are after about 10 minutes. I did turn the pot down to a simmer after it came to a rolling boil. And so now I'm going to just turn off the heat, let it cool a little before I strain them. Poured the grapes into a colander. And at this point, there's no need to crush them any further. We'll just let gravity do its work and let them drain all the juices out. Let it sit for about eight hours or overnight. So after allowing the grapes to drain, I was able to get some beautiful grape juice. I refrigerated it overnight. So this morning, I'm ready to make a batch of jelly. I'm using Fruit Peck three to one with this formula. For each batch, I would need 900 grams of my grape juice and only 350 grams of sugar. And I don't need anything else. I don't need to add lemon juice to this formula. It comes out beautifully. I also have a whisk and a spoon to stir with. Okay, so it, to begin with, we're gonna wanna put everything in the pot cold. So the 900 grams, or it's about 30 ounces, of my fresh grape juice right out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna pour that into the pot. Next, I'm going to measure out my 350 grams of sugar. Normally, with the, pe the fruit juice, or the pectin, we would need a one-to-one -one ratio, but with this lower sugar formula, it's great. I only need the 350 grams of sugar not 900 grams. And then I'll add one pack, package of the pectin. I'm just going to use my whisk to combine. So again, this is cold right now from the refrigerator and I'm going to cook it over high heat. I want to bring it to a boil and then once it comes to a boil, I'm going to stir constantly. I want to boil it for five minutes and then we can pour it into the jars. One thing I did just before we started was I put a plate into the freezer because I'm gonna use that to test the gel just to make sure it's jellified after we're done cooking it. So, we're set to go. I'm going to turn on the heat, huh? So I'm just going to stir it gently as we get started. You don't have to stir it constantly before it comes to a boil, but I like to give it the occasional stir just to make sure everything's blended right now but also so it doesn't stick. So I have my jars already prepared. I had already sterilized the jars. And I have the covers handy. So that when we're all done, we're ready to pour into the jars. So it's just starting to come to a boil now. I'm just gonna wait and start the timer when it's really at a rolling boil. just about there. Okay, I'll just give it a stir and then I'm going to start my timer. And then for the five minutes, we're going to want to stir it continually. That way it'll gel evenly. And then after the five minutes, I'll show you how I will test it. So we're getting to the end of our five minutes. I've just been gently stirring the whole time, allowing it to boil. It's on high heat still, I have it on the high flame. I found this formula much easier than the Certo that I used last year. It took me a little bit more. I had to do a lot of cooking, testing it. If it wasn't jellified, cook it a couple more minutes. So I found I had to cook it for a lot longer using the Certo. With this fruit to pick three to one, it's been pretty simple. I'm loving it. Plus, less sugar, because these grapes are just so sweet. I hated to have to add a kilo of sugar to it. Um, so being able to use a third of the sugar is awesome. And it sets up really nice. Okay, five minutes is up. 
I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to run and grab the plate that I put into the freezer. I just put it in right before I started cooking this. It doesn't take long for the plate to chill. I just want you to see what I'm talking about. If it wasn't finished cooking, if the gelatin process hadn't worked, you wouldn't get a gelatinous. But this is going to just kind of gel right up on me. Look at that not running the nice jelly texture it means I'm good to go so I'm gonna take this and pour it into our jars just fill it below the rim okay and you want to clean up each of the rims I just take it down because where I slopped a little on the edge, we won't get a good seal if I left the jelly there. These I think I had a clean pour on. Okay, so let me get my jar lids. Put them on tight. Turn them upside down. Five minutes. That's it. Make sure that the lid is sterilized as well. We know because we did the test that it's going to jellify, but it usually takes about 24 hours for it to completely set up. So don't be concerned if after a couple hours you look and the jelly's still a little bit loose. That's okay. So we're going to set the timer again for another five minutes, then we'll turn them upright, and they're finished. I'm just going to label them with the date that I made them. Okay, so after the five minutes, I turn them upright. Beautiful jelly. And you'll notice that the lid is still raised as the jelly cools this will go down and you'll know it's sealed because it won't have any bounce to it and usually within a half hour to an hour i start hearing the jars pop and then you know they're sealed good to go they can stay on the shelf um, for about a year if you want but we usually eat it before that again label it with the date you made it Okay, so now that the grape jelly is done, Sarah did all the hard work. Now let's just taste Victoria and see how this year's grape jelly came out. It, it, look looks, it looks really good it's and it really smells good. really good too. Mm. I'm thinking where she didn't use much sugar, it's going to be really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it's it. really good. Mm-hmm. I like it because it's not very sweet. Not oh. tart, but it's perfect. Actually, it's a little bit tarter than last year's. It's yeah. yummy. Hmm. Really good. It's really good. All right, so we're gonna enjoy this. Are we? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I think we're going to. So we hope you enjoyed this video on how to make grape jelly, and please like and subscribe to our channel so you can see their future videos as well. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get alerted so you yes. can actually watch our videos. That's true. <laughs> All right, so ciao, ciao. Ciao for now. Ciao. Ciao.